welcome. Welcome, one and all, in here, out there, all around the world to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the United States Congress continues to be a brimming bucket of garbage. <laughs> After ditching the speaker for the first time in U.S. history, Congress decided, job well done. <laughs> Took the rest of the week off. <laughs> Seems lazy. Turns out, might have been an appropriate safety measure, according to Republican Garrett Graves. Jake, I'll be really candid. I think if we had stayed together uh, in the meeting last night, I, I think that you would have seen fists thrown. And <laughs> if the fists did start flying, my money's on Lauren Boebert, because <laughs> I've seen how fast those hands move, especially, especially below the belt. <laughs> now, the guy... <laughs> The guy everyone uh, finds particularly punchable in all this is Florida congressman and man who spotted you from across the Build-A-Bear workshop. <laughs> Matt Gates. Everyone he works with thinks Gates is a sleaze, including Oklahoma Senator Mark Wayne Mullen, who recounted this story about Gates and then Congresswoman Kristi Noem. At the time, he was a member-elect, so we was going through conference and orientation, and he walked up to him and said, Chris, you know, now Governor Chris, you know, and she, he said, man, she's a fine... And you can put the B word in place there. <laughs> Representative of Bouth Bakoda? <laughs> Mullen also mentioned Gates's most disturbing scandal. You got to think about this guy. Um, this is a guy that didn't have that the media didn't give a time of day to after he was accused of sleeping with an underage girl. And there's a reason why no one in the conference came and defended him, because we had all seen the videos he was showing on the House floor that all of us had walked away of the girls that he had slept with. He'd brag about how he would uh, crush ED medicine and 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 chase it with um, with an energy drink so he could go all night. This is obviously before you got married. Oh. Well, that makes it better, then. <laughs> yeah, my friend Ted used to scam old ladies out of their life savings and then release them confused into the woods uh, <laughs> before he had kids, obviously. <laughs> For the record, married people can still get crazy with the pharmaceuticals. I've been married 30 years, and just last night, I crushed a whole Lipitor into my sleepy time tea. <laughs> okay? Jack. It's a cocktail I call CPAP on the beach. <laughs> so this guy is claiming Matt Gates was running around on the floor of the house showing his amateur porn to anybody he could find, to everybody who works with him. That makes him sound like the over-the-top bad employee example they use in HR training videos. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm told we have one now. Inappropriate behavior. What employees need to know. Hey, coworker Roger, check out these videos. Wait a moment, Max. These appear to be sexually explicit in nature. It's okay. Look, it's me enjoying erectile stimulants mixed with caffeinated drinks and then having sex with women all night long. This was obviously before you were married. That is correct. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Blood is flowing like a river to my stimulated penis. Stop. What should Roger do? A, say nothing and walk away. B, contact HR immediately. C, let Max paralyze the government by firing the Speaker of the House. Yeah. All of the above. All of the above. With McCarthy out of the picture, Republicans have to elect a new Speaker of the House, and, and some of them are already trying to draft Donald Trump. And in, in return... Trump is, is playing coy, but there's one person who's really into him taking the job. Personally? <laughs> I think it'd be the coolest damn thing in the entire world. You know, I, I would make sure he got a bigger gavel than the small little one that they have. Like, I, I, think, I think Trump needs, like, a... You could make it. You're a huge. good craftsman. Like, a, a huge gavel. My dad would have... My dad. I'm telling you, it would be super cool, awesome sauce. My dad would have the hugest gavel of the world. He'd be so big, he couldn't pick it up with his hands. He'd have to wrap both his arms around it and scoop it up and then tell it he loved it and please let me be the gavel, Dad. <laughs> but... Uh... 
Eric Trump just came? Eric's not the only member of his family out there uh, doing the family name proud. So is Eric's wife and Kirkland brand Gwyneth Paltrow, Lara Trump. <laughs> Last week, Lara released a cover of Tom Petty's 1989 hit song, I Won't Back Down. Take a listen. Chilling. <laughs> you can hear the whole track on the new compilation album. Now that's what Lara Trump claims is music volume one on a horse. Now, shockingly, some fans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little auto tune. <laughs> Just a, a little bit. It's, it's hard to tell, but there's so much <laughs> auto tune there that I think it might have been the horse singing. <laughs> Can't tell. Shockingly, the song wasn't an immediate hit, and Lara. I think she knows why. I already know my song was shadow banned. Uh, so many people told me on Apple Music, on Spotify, on Amazon Music, they wouldn't put my song on the radio because it was too political. Yes, too political. Her singing has been legally designated as domestic terrorism. Uh, 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 One place. Uh, One place. Uh, <laughs> we already did the auto tune joke. You gotta do the thing. <laughs> One place they can't sal silence Lara is on Australian TV, where she gave an a cappella version. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. You can stand me up at the gates of hell, but I won't back down. Well, I've never been to the gates of hell, but now I'm pretty sure I know what they sound like. <laughs> fine. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> Who am I to talk? Uh, oh, there's some news about former New York mayor and rubber... <laughs> and rubber practice head they use in periodontal school. <laughs> Rudolph Giuliani. Rudy is at the center of a special counsel Jack Smith January 6th case against Trump. And now, federal prosecutors have shown an interest in Rudy's drinking habits. It's the very first federal investigation ever to begin with the words, we're worried about you. The reason for this Giuliani booze snoop is that January 6th prosecutors think Trump might use a so-called advice of counsel defense where he claims that he was a client merely taking professional cues from his lawyers, but that argument would fall apart if that guidance came from someone who Trump knew was compromised by alcohol. Oh, no, are you telling me <laughs> the insane leaky goblin that I hired out of a dumpster was drunk? <laughs> but but he was the only one who knew where the dildo store was. <laughs> I don't... No. I, I... Look, look, I... 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 Look... I, 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 I. Hey, hey! Drinking isn't Rudy's only problem. He's also got massive unpaid legal bills. So, to raise cash, he's selling off his Upper East Side apartment, which recently showed up on Zillow for $6.5 million. The listing featured beautiful professional photos and one that Rudy took himself. <laughs> of course, sure, got there. We got there. <laughs> I got a, I got a, how about, how about, take a cow. Of course, the true heart of any home is the kitchen. Rudy has a beautiful one. There's a butler's pantry, a staff room, a wine cellar, a wine fridge, a wine microwave, <laughs> and a wine washer dryer. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, you might have noticed a strange sound coming from your phone because uh, there was a test of the emergency broadcast system. Did people get that? It was supposed to... <laughs> Everyone should have gotten it. The test was scheduled to happen on every phone in the country simultaneously at exactly 2.20 Eastern Standard Time. But it actually went off two minutes early. So either somebody jumped the gun or we just found out the government knows the disaster is going to happen two minutes before it actually does. <laughs> And if that's the case, why didn't they stop Lara Trump from covering Tom Petty? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> These tests are evidently necessary, but some on social media were not too pleased, like one conservative journalist who complained that it happened right during the baby's nap time. <laughs> Thanks, Biden. <laughs> hey, you think Biden's happy? 
It was right during his nap time, too. We got a great show for you tonight. My guests are Bob Odenberg and comedian Fortune Feimster. But when we come back, meanwhile, join us. Let's see what